Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my own version of this look on Liza Minnelli in the movie Cabaret. Cabaret came out in 1972 and starred Liza Minnelli, Michael York, and Helmut Green. Here is a clip from the very famous Mine Hair number from the movie, and I'm really, really, really excited to do this. I've actually done a very accurate recreation of this look for a performance I did, um, but today we're going to do something a little different. We're still going to emulate that blue eyeshadow and I have the green nail polish on, but we're going to give it a little bit of flair. I'm beginning with my foundation, nails, brows, and one eye completed, and we're going to recreate this on the other eye. We're starting off, as always, with the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer, and I'm going to just swoop that on and blend it out with my finger as per usual. The first eyeshadow we're applying is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Single in Brulee. And we're taking a fluffy, flat brush and we're just going to use that as the base for the rest of the eyeshadow. Next we're going into the Blue Moon Palette from ColourPop and starting out with the shade Clued In. I'm using a flat shader brush and I'm creating that winged shape and building up the intensity of the color while blending it out slightly. This won't look perfect because we're going to add a lot more colors and shading, but it is to map out the shape. My method here is to apply eyeshadow underneath the areas where the eyeshadow already lays on top in that halo shape. I'm going to quickly clean up a little bit of that eyeshadow fallout and then continue to blend the shape. Now we're going to use Fine China from the Blue Moon palette and just pack that on top to add a new depth of color. We're going to jump on over to the So Jaded palette by ColourPop as well, and using the dark blue sapphire shade, I'm going to smoke up the outer corners as well as the bottom lash line and the inner corner of the eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Camelback. And we're just patting this all over that center portion of the lid with my finger to make sure it's well blended and not messing with the blue eyeshadow. Back to the Blue Moon palette, we're using this shimmery shade Tide Pool. I'm just going to dab a little bit of that into the inner and outer corners to add a little bit more shiny flair. To make the center of the lid pop, we're using the Mary Luminizer highlighter from the Balm and just dabbing that in with our finger and then blending out the blue carefully so everything looks diffused. Don't forget that liquid eyeshadow and the highlighter on the bottom portion of the lash line. To clean up and perfect the eyeshadow, I'm using an oil-free makeup remover on a cotton bud and we're just going to sharpen that line and clean up any fallout that might have occurred. Now I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Porcelain, and I'm going to define my eyebrows and give some more highlight to my brow bone. Don't forget to blend that well so everything looks seamless. For mascara, we're using Maybelline Colossal Lash Waterproof Mascara in black, and just doing a quick coat to the top and lower lash line. We're using a bold, fluffy lash and clear eyelash adhesive today, and I'm going to do that off camera. Boom. And now we're going to marry my natural lashes with the falsies with Maybelline's Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in Black. I'm literally just pushing those together and also getting my waterline above and in the outer and inner corners of the lower lash line. My foundation today is Cinema Secrets Ultimate Foundation in the 300 series, and I'm going to dot that underneath my eye to further clean up and perfect the look, and then I'm going to blend it out with a sponge and my finger. To conceal my notorious eye bags, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Sand and just swiping that in the area where I see the shadow that my bags cast, and I'm going to blend it out carefully with a damp sponge. 
I use Physician's Formula Natural Defense Finishing Powder in medium to set my face and I'm using it now to set underneath my eye. My new favorite bronzer is Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to use this to give myself a more snatched jawline, some pretty epic cheekbones, and also bring a little bit up into my hairline. For blusher today, of course, I'm using the Milani Baked Blush, but today's shade is Dolce Pink. And I'm going to build this up slowly. I do want a very pronounced look, but I don't want it to be too clown-like. I'm also going to add a little bit to my chin and on my nose. To highlight my face, I'm using Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. And we're going to just build that up on top of the cheekbone to really give me that luminous, kind of theatrical glow, and also don't forget the tip of the nose. Now for the lips, we're gonna line the lips a little overdrawn with that totally toffee shade from Maybelline that I love, and I'm going to give myself a 20 shape, but a little bit more broad. And I really love using a darker shade because it adds dimension to lipstick, especially red lipstick in this case and the red we're using first is Besame's Blood Red. And this is a really great dark vampy red and I want to use it as sort of another lip liner. So I'm gonna apply that on top of the Totally Toffee and blend it out slightly on the corners. To fill in the rest of the lip, I'm using Besame's Forever Red, and I'm going to use it directly from the bullet and just fill in the center part and then rub my lips together for even distribution. Now I'm perfecting everything with the lip lining brush and blending the colors together but still keeping that dimension. One last little step for the makeup, we're using the e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Cream in medium brown to draw on that iconic beauty mark. Now that the makeup's completed, let's have fun with this final look. Ta-da! And bam, here we are. We're doing Sally Bowles from Cabaret. We're doing a modern day Liza Minnelli. I'm just feeling this so hard. And funny fact, me and Liza have the same birthday, so maybe I'm super feeling that vibe for sure. So here's the completed look, green nails and all. We're super feeling Liza Minnelli in Cabaret. I love that this is a more modern eyeshadow style. This is a halo eyeshadow which I had never tried before today, but I wanted to try something that was more modern but could emulate a more retro vibe, and I think this really did it. I already had the hat and the wig from burlesque performances. I've actually done a cabaret uh, drag show performance, and uh, so yeah, I'm kind of cheating with being able to really, really give you that vibe. But even without the hat and the wig, this is a super fun makeup, and you could wear it out to a big glamorous night, change up the color. I personally am crazy about the blue, but you could use any color and you could use different colors in the middle for that halo and I just think it's so fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I am looking forward to my next one. I'm really starting to feel myself a little bit more with this channel and I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to continue to see content from me, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video and any other video that you see a big thumbs up. Until next time, my beautiful friends, remember the future is bright and I'll see you in my next video.